Thanks very much for your introduction. Thanks also for the notes regarding my university. That's one of the oldest university in Italy. Should be around 800 years. And uh, in this presentation, I will talk about the power to X technologies to be implemented in the district energy networks. This is a brief outline of this presentation. I will start from the present energy scenarios and the perspectives for carbon neutrality by 2050. Then I will go through the technologies of the smart energy networks, including power to X technologies, and particular power to fuel, power to gas, power to heat, and power to power. And finally, some tips regarding the research and development development acti activities that we are performing regarding this topic. I would like to start this presentation with the word of the UN Secretary uh, Antonio Gutierrez in March 2023, and he said the rate of temperature rise in the last half century is the highest in 2,000 years. Concentration of carbon dioxide are the highest at at least in two million years, the climate time bomb is ticking. So if you look at the, this point, uh, if you look at this graph showing the temperature increase of the earth, there is a significant increase during the past decades. And uh, there are different scenarios that are uh, assumed by the IPCC, the International Panel on Climate Change, depending on different socioeconomic pathways. The most optimistic one is this one, the blue one, where there is an increase up to 2030 and then a slight decrease. Unfortunately, this is a very optimistic uh, scenario where all the actions in order to prevent climate change are correctly implemented. All the other realistic scenarios consider an increase of the temperature, which is much higher, even up to five degrees C by the end of this century. Unfortunately, the majority of the impacts due to this temperature increase are very high or moderate when the temperature increase is higher than 1.5 uh, uh, degrees C. So we have to limit this temperature increase. We all know that there is another important aspect, it's the economic aspect, and the GDP of the worldwide countries is, is continuously increasing. If you look at the GDP increase of the developed countries, it's about 